Jill Lennon. I'm here at the Cairo Research Center in Cairo, Georgia. And I'm here with Walter Godwin, uh, one of our cooperators and customers. So we're just going to talk about Pioneer Research and what all goes into that bag of seed. One of the things I really wanted to talk to you today about was our disease screening. Locally, we screen for southern corn leaf blight. Um, we'll go down there in a little bit, but our disease pivot there has just over 25,000 plots, so single rows that we're looking at and characterizing. And we look at everything um, kind of pre-inbred, so the stage before we start putting it into hybrid trials, and to everything that's going to be commercial next year. So the full range of our pipeline gets characterized under this disease pivot. For um, southern corn leaf blight, we typically go out and hand score it, so we give it a rating of one to nine. But with technology and drones, we can actually start flying these fields and get a score from the air. I see that being more precise than a human. Yeah. Touching every leaf or looking at every leaf. Absolutely. And with the drone not having to be out there in that field. Yeah, from a this time of year. Yeah, safety risk as well as the heat that we get here. It's it's definitely a huge benefit to us in the south. So we're here at the disease pivot, as we call it, uh, where we inoculate for southern corn leaf blight. But about a third of this field is actually dedicated to estimation set development. And so we'll walk a little bit of those experiments where we um, are picking populations and individuals that we think will have a wide range of tolerance or susceptibility. And then we can take that information that we get from this single field, this one location that we have every year, and we can now predict new inbreds, new things coming into our pipeline, that large funnel where we start and saying, this one's going to have really good southern corn leaf blight tolerance because it matches the genetic profile that we've seen in the field where we've seen that tolerance. So in, in this plot, you're not actually looking at the, the ear, you're looking at the leaves. Yep, yep. We're going to look at the leaves, um, but we'll also look at the ear uh, end of season. So we're going to take fusarium as well. So next we'll kind of look at these um, experiments where we're trying to get the full range of disease. And hopefully as you walk that in the couple rows that we'll look at, you'll see those differences in infection rates and tolerance as well. Just walking through here, you might have something that looks okay or good and things that have completely died, premature death. I mean, I bet you could push on that and they would just fall over. So the disease is really important to characterize because it does a lot more than just affect your yield, but it affects your standability as well here in front of 1870. So this is something that is pure southern genetics. It was developed um, out of the south, either here in Cairo or a combination, you know, throughout the southeast. So you can see it's got, you know, a decent level of tolerance to southern leaf blight. You see some lesions on there, but it's, it hasn't completely eaten up the plant. So it's, it's still holding on strong. And in front of us, we actually have 1903. So this is another pure Southern hybrid. So it was made of two inbreds developed in the South. And again, you can see a few lesions. You probably see some Southern rust on there as well. Um, but it definitely is holding on to its health. Uh, some of the things that stands out to me is the amount of, the amount of trials that uh, Corteva has um the different locations uh, the different stations uh, the amount of time that they're spending developing traits uh, to go on farms not just in the whole country but located in south georgia on my farm they're spending time and money which is good for me and it's good for them we want to grow products that are made for our area that do good in our area some of the corn that i'm growing this year that we've gathered so far has looked really good